Today on Fidel Yuko, we explain how to use ashes as fertilizer for plants. Is ash good for plants? Yes, as it is obtained by burning organic matter, which makes many elements available for plants. Besides having multiple benefits, it helps maximize waste utilization and reintegrate them into the biogeochemical cycle. Ashes contain large amounts of minerals necessary for plants, such as calcium, trace elements, but especially have large amounts of potassium reaching up to 3%. Properties and benefits of ashes for plants To start, potassium helps plants resist frost. It also prevents the rotting of plant tissues and inhibits the development of fungi, making it easier for plants to resist fungal pests. Additionally, Ash has a high potassium content that animal manures do not have and acts as a soil stabilizer, improving soil or substrate structure and composition. It also repels pests like insects, slugs, and snails. It also stabilizes overly acidic soils. This results in plants being unable to absorb or synthesize certain nutrients, deteriorating them and leading to death. Likewise, it is used as a substitute for liming, being a cheaper and easier alternative to do it yourself. It also works for most plants, whether vegetables, fruit trees, or ornamentals. In fruit trees, it should be used in moderation because they require slightly acidic soil. It also accelerates flower and fruit production, achieving greater yield and better quality. Finally, it strengthens the root system of plants, allowing better absorption of nutrients and water. Before we continue, Let's put you to the test. What is one of the environmental benefits of using homemade fertilizer instead of chemical fertilizers? A. Lower cost. B. Rapid release of nutrients. C. Reduction of organic waste. D. Longer lasting effects. Think carefully because at the end of the video, you can check if you were right. What type of ashes are used? To start the process, it is necessary to clarify that the ashes used for plant fertilizer by expert gardeners come from grass left over from pruning between the months of April and June, the rainy season when pruning should be more frequent. On the other hand, ash from wood produced from branches, lignified stems such as those of roses, or leftover wood from chimneys and bonfires is also used. How to use ashes as fertilizer for plants Once you have the ash, Make sure there are no large pieces of plant material left. The ideal texture is powder, and ideally, it should be sifted. Always handle it with gloves, safety glasses, and long sleeves. Spread the ash on the bottom where the plant will be placed, whether in a hole, pot, or planting row. When applied directly to the soil, it should be done in winter and integrated into the soil by stirring or burying it well so that the components take effect. Applying it in winter ensures that it will not be harmful when spring comes. But if you want to use it as a pest repellent, spread the ash around the plant in question as mulch. In addition to being used alone, you can add a handful of fertilizer to the existing fertilizer, such as worm castings or manure. Use 50 to 70 grams of ash per square meter. The ash dose for plants is 50 to 70 grams per square meter. It should only be used occasionally because it alkalizes the soil too much, provides many mineral salts, and can be counterproductive. Also, it should be avoided in plants that do not tolerate slightly alkaline soils. If you have pH measuring strips, you can check that it does not exceed 7.5. Do not leave the ash in the rain because potassium deteriorates. Try to store the unused ash in protected sacks. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought about it? The correct answer is C. Tell us, are you going to use ashes on your plants? Until next time, ecologists.